Hey, we back at it again. What's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about finishing and finishing badges, everything you need to know about finishing on NBA 2K21 for next gen. Now, as you guys know, a couple months ago, I deleted the game. I thought it was unplayable, but I've been back on for close to now two weeks, and I want to share my experience with you guys as well as we talk about finishing and everything you need to know about finishing. On this stretch playmaker build, I have a driving dunk of a 94, but you can see my primary focus is not in finishing which we're gonna go into the badge setup right now I have eight out of my 12 finishing badges it's one of the categories with the fewest amount of badges 12 finishing 22 shooting badges 30 playmaking and 11 defense and rebounding badges you can see my primary focus is in playmaking and shooting but my finishing is still OP out there because that's what 2k is catering to this year for NBA 2k 21 for next gen there's a misconception out there that you need a lot of finishing badges but as you can see i only have eight out of my 12 finishing badges and i'm catching bodies it looks like posterizer and slithery are the only two badges that you need up at a higher level it's not absolutely necessary that you need other badges but if i were to equip other badges i'd probably go with fearless finisher as an option as i increase i, I need four more badges to complete my finishing so i would probably lean towards fearless finisher maybe lob city finisher as well just to catch some more oops although i don't think anything else is absolutely necessary i probably could have made this build with eight finishing badges alone because i'm super happy with the way my player is finishing out there i think it's more so based in your animations and that's what you should consider more so than anything let's go into the animations and see what animations i have equipped so you guys can make better and more informed decisions when you're driving into the paint now I have circus layups, which is absolutely awesome. I noticed a huge and tremendous difference with this layup package. So if you don't got circus layups, you may want to consider equipping that. The Euro step on the circus layup package is absolutely amazing. Something like LeBron James out there. So you might want to consider equipping the circus layup package. And we don't we all know that this is more so to do with J the jamal crawford layer package but the euro that it incorporates into the circus layer package is amazing and it moves more so like lebron james when driving to the paint the dunk package for number one is the baseline reverses off one straight arm tomahawks uber athletic tomahawks off one off the reason why i go with off ones is because it's a lot quicker on the drive when you go with off two there's a bit of a stutter there that allows a defense to recover when you're driving into the paint so take that into consideration as well the kobe bryant package vince carter package and russell westbrook packages are all you need the vince carter has a 360 dunks in there which you might want to take into consideration the kobe bryant package has the great reverses and it's just like three ultimate uh dunk packages out there that you might want to take into consideration as you increase your driving iq so when you're trying to set up your bills make sure that you don't put as much into your finishing unless you just want to complete dominate and make your player primarily a finisher which is not a good idea on NBA 2k21 for the next gen because from my experience you need to know how to shoot so if you dump too much into your finishing you might put you and your teammates at a disadvantage this is why I created this build in particular with a good amount of shooting badges and a good amount of playmaking badges because driving is just so overpowered on NBA 2k21 for next gen let's talk some more about these finishing badges because there are some additional options that could help increase your chances for success when driving into the paint like acrobat acrobat is a great badge as well it boosts the ability to make layups that have a high degree of difficulty now we know it's a layup badge and i gotta say from what i've experienced out there it's not absolutely necessary but it will increase your chances out there when you're driving into the pace so if you're looking to be a dominant player when you're driving you may want to consider a badge like acrobat now people talk about giant slayer it's been a huge debate at least on our live streams and people talking about the badge on whether or not you should be equipping giant slayer and in my personal opinion i don't think is an absolute necessity i wouldn't i wouldn't even consider equipping giant slayer in my opinion 
game. The driving is so overpowered and is catered to casual gamers that it's not necessary to equip badges like Giant Slayer. You're already gonna get what you need driving into the paint, maybe a good 80% of the time. The only difference now is that players are now making uh, builds with interior defense and that interior defense is indeed disrupting the drive into the paint, at least from what I've noticed. But it's not like, it's just more, a little bit more balance, I could say. A good majority of your drives are gonna be successful when you're going into the paint, no matter if there's interior defense or not. We were playing with a player that had a super high interior defense, all his Hall of Fame badges, and he was getting dunked on left and right. So it's a little bit more balanced, but trust and believe driving is still overpowered on nba 2k21 for next gen and i can understand why 2k is catering to the casual gamer right now it's catering to the players that don't necessarily like really play at a high level or a competitive level on 2k so they're catering to those players so that way they could hopefully stay on the game and make a purchase for nba 2k22 it's like 2k21 it's like 2k just took the year off and they just wanted to kind of recruit players out out there at least that's what it feels like post spin technician i've seen it in action is, is does a great job if you got the right player build you can use post spin technician at a high level though put it at hall of fame you might get those spins off although that's not my play style i would recommend if you are looking to get those post moves down post spin technician will indeed help you out drop stepper i like i've always liked the drop stepper badge but again these are not badges that are like super efficient it's not absolutely necessary more times than not as soon as you go into the post the defense is going to collapse and you're going to end up going up against two or three people in the paint dream shaker not a badge that i will put down back down punisher again not a badge that i will put that put down um it's because 2k doesn't allow you to go on a one-on-one -on -one scenario so back down punisher is not going to get you what you need there's not enough time to back down the opponent and get what you need out there without getting double or triple team so keep that in mind he's Seeker will indeed boost your takeover you got to understand that is not like it was before we're talking about like really maintaining your badge count so you can allocate them amongst different categories so that way you could be more dominant out there and it looks like 2k21 for next gen you need to know how to shoot so that way your point guard could iso and then dish off on a double team so you're gonna need to know how to shoot so your point guard is not getting double teamed and uh you know when you put when you dump too much into your finishing it's gonna limit the amount of badges that you can put onto different categories to help you and your team out. at least that's what i feel you guys let me know in the comment section what you think put back plus is a great badge i've seen it in action although i don't think it's like super like efficient in the sense that you're going to use it every single play or every single like offensive opportunity but putback boss does come in handy when you're trying to get them clutch putbacks you may want to consider using that badge but fearless finisher is probably the only other badge that i would consider equipping with a 12 finishing badge build aside from that i don't see anything else really working in my favor to equip on this particular build i gave you guys my animations i showed you guys my driving action attributes you see is not super high out there and it's not absolutely necessary i'm already catching bodies i'm a 90 overall with a stretch playmaker build and his primary focus is not in finishing and i'm doing everything i want even more than expected for this stretch playmaking build when it comes to driving into the paint so i could only imagine when i increase my uh, shooting attributes and shooting badges and my playmaking badges it's gonna be a gg for a lot of people out there where this particular build does lack is in defense and it's noticeable so i just want to touch base on this as well my perimeter defense is at an 80 and it feels when i'm out there on the court it feels more like it's at a 25. the player is like not responsive although i don't have all of my defensive badges the player is just not responsive on defense so if you were going to consider dumping anything anywhere else aside from finishing i would go towards defense and defensive attributes as well to increase your defensive awareness and defensive like responsiveness out there well that's what i got for this video hopefully you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of next gen content coming your way don't forget to catch us on live stream as i'll continue to upgrade this build on our live stream we would love to have you come on out and join us if you're new to the channel again don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all. Yeah.